Many times in our lives, as we're advancing towards spirituality, we say, I will try, I'll sustain myself, I won't fall, I'll always come to the gatherings of friends, to the meals, to the lessons, I'll do this and that. And it doesn't always work out that way. And what's the reason? We're not receiving support from above if we commit in such a way. The hero is not one who holds himself and goes forward and succeeds. That's a donkey, not a hero. A hero is one who is concerned with holding his friends in Arvut and they are concerned with him and care for him in such a way they don't fall, otherwise they'll fall. Again and again we will come to a state in which we again don't have the strength, again we can't feel anything, once again we don't have a desire, importance and so on, because we don't care for mutual arvut in holding on to the society and that way each will have the forces and awakenings. So we now not now, we have another lesson. But as we are going out to the day, we throughout the day are constantly thinking how I awaken my friends and hold on to the Arvut in the whole society. And let's see at the end of the day. Um, can you please uh, explain a little bit more what you just said? You said a hero, it's someone who is concerned with the friends rather than just be committed to the schedule for himself I really felt that but uh, can you please be more clear about it thanks there are such people who think that they're heroes by coming to the lesson it's the creator that's awakening them not them themselves Rather, who is the hero? One who conquers his inclination. And this is specifically in relation to Arvut. How much am I caring for my friends? How much am I concerned with the correction of the world? That's the point. That is where we really are being measured. And in truth, all my actions are being measured, weighed, and inscribed for the other. How much am I caring for him? The care for the closest care for the others is to care for the society. To care what for the society? Upliftment, our voods, confidence, security, joy, enthusiasm. Moving forward, that's the concern that needs to be in a person. And then by that, if he cares for the society, it returns to him. So he too is in those same qualities that he wants the society to receive. On his own he can't. He can't ask the Creator because that's audacity. It's written a lot about that. It's like to ask the Creator, give me the strength, give me the intellect, let me have the feeling I want, I want. What? No way. That's an egoistic way. To think in such a way, to ask in such a way, only for the society and you who are is included in the society and him too, where is it written? And a person who's included within the society then also receives. But to pray never for oneself, because by that you're actually harming yourself. Oh, Creator, help me, give me something like this, like that. Give me the forces, advancement, I really want to bestow. You want to bestow? Please ask to bestow. But not that you want. 
There's a difference. A, one should, is not allowed to ask for himself. That causes a descent. Why a descent? That's how a person is advanced until he understands that that's not the right way to address the Creator. You address the Creator only for the others. Then he hears and the answer is positive. Yes.